Okay, this is going to be uh, Wade Barrett winning the Intercontinental Championship. I remember, I, I forgot how he even lost, to be quite honest. I remember last year being at WrestleMania 29, the pre-show, The Miz beating Wade Barrett as, as the rain started to come down at MetLife Stadium. And I think the next night, I don't know what happened, maybe <laughs> they realized that they made a mistake, but it was Wade Barrett versus The Miz. And Wade Barrett pinned The Miz in what had to be one of the, the, the standout matches, I guess, because the crowd was just so into it from, from beginning to end. They wanted to see Miz lose, and they wanted to see Barrett win, especially with that crowd there. I think Izod only probably held uh, just under 20,000, and we probably had like 98% of those people just going crazy for Barrett. And uh, all those international fans from England, they, they go crazy no matter what. It was a great moment, and, and to be quite honest, I don't remember who he lost it to after that, and then how, I just remember Big E, uh, who did Big E Langston even beat? I don't even remember who Big E beat, to be quite honest. Uh, <laughs> but what matters is, after one year, it's back on Wade Barrett, and, and you know, it's like a it's like a reset button. They've they've uh, they've packaged him, and then just screwed up with him, and then they tried doing it again and again and again. I don't know if they're trying to just, like, just give him the worst thing possible, and just, like, just, you know, get rid of him, or if they really believe that he has the power to make something from chicken shit to chicken salad, and um, I say that because they gave him the Nexus gimmick, and he got that over, and I think when they broke up, that's when the Nexus was really starting to take off, and I think a lot more people were starting to jump on board when they, they disbanded, and then you had the core, which was, it was there, but it wasn't as big as a Nexus, and uh, then he kind of went off on his own, and uh, really didn't do much, and then he left, and he came back as that uh, that street fighter, and I, I enjoyed that. I think it was fitting for him. He grew up the beard a little bit, looked more of a badass, and I guess he got injured, and he didn't wrestle for like six months, and uh, now he came back as Bad News Barrett, and at the beginning, it was um, it was a little annoying, I'm not going to lie, but uh, I guess once you kind of... Wade Barrett's Wade Barrett. It's not like his ring style changed so much it's always been the same guy he's always been able to put on semi-decent matches and I think uh, with the right guy uh, i.e. Sheamus he can put on great matches and he you know the voice I think is what really makes him stand out and that's why he does so much promo thing so now obviously you're going to see him a lot more on the mic now he has the belt now he at least has some sort of meaning on Raw but uh, you got to wonder what happens to Big E Langston I remember he was like that golden boy like where Cesaro is right now that's where Big E was, but you see how far he's fallen off the ladder, and I wouldn't be surprised if you don't see him for uh, not really doing much. It's not like he's doing much now, but now it's going to be even less than before. But that's all. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.